What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about retro gaming, give you guys my thoughts on it, but I'd also like to hear your thoughts on it. If you are a retro gamer, tell me some of the retro games you like to play, what retro games means to you, and if you're a little bit younger and you haven't had a chance to do it, please consider going back a few years, checking out some of the games that started this stuff, because the new tech, the new hardware we have now, would not exist without the precursors, the Nintendo Entertainment Systems, the Sega Genesis, the Ataris. These consoles matter, uh, and uh, if you do have them, they, they shouldn't just sit on your countertop collecting dust, because they're important pieces of hardware and important pieces of history in video gaming. So let me ask you guys, what is the first console you ever owned? Do you remember the first video game console you ever played? Some people don't. And uh, I do. The first video game console that I ever played was the NES. And like many of you, I had a great time playing my Nintendo Entertainment System. Like many born in the early 80s, I now have children of my own. And I'm frequently asked how I ever enjoyed playing video games on my old consoles. I had to stop. I had to think about it for a while and make this video in response to some of these questions, but I also wanted to get your input and get the input from my subscribers. You guys mean a lot to me. I was born in 1980, so let's get that out of the way. You guys know I'm old. And when I was a young boy at the age of five, the Nintendo Entertainment System was released. This console came to out, out of left field, totally caught me by surprise. I was only five years old. I had no idea it existed, and I had no idea that it was even coming out. I remember a friend of my dad's coming over to the house and with him he brought this console. It was a square beige gray box. And with this box my life was changed forever. Do you guys remember the first time you kissed? Do you remember the first time you kissed a pretty girl or you kissed a handsome guy? Do you remember the first time you went to a beautiful, beautiful place maybe on a vacation or the first time you even had a child? These are special moments. Well. The NES was my very first gaming console, my, my very first gaming experience, and uh, it was and still is one of my favorite consoles of all time. Now, it's hard to do a comparison by today's standards uh, of the experience I had on my NES. I remember the hours I spent playing Mario, Mario and Duck Hunt. I remember using that Nintendo Zapper, and uh, that was one of the first times anyone had ever experienced the realism of pointing a gun at the screen and shooting ducks out of the sky with what with what were beautiful 8-bit graphics is amazing how fast time flies <laughs> Mario changed my life in an even bigger way and he has gone on to become one of the most recognizable faces in the world Mario was the first 2d side-scrolling adventure game many of us had ever had a pleasure of playing and it still holds up great today from what was considered for the time it had blazing fast speed and a very digestible learning curve simply put Mario created many of the gamers in the world now who trash Nintendo. Nintendo had a very long and illustrious lifespan. And with the lifespan of this console, some of the greatest games ever created came out. And some of these games that I really enjoyed playing were Kid Icarus, which is an amazing game. DuckTales came out on Nintendo. Metroid came out on Nintendo. Mega Man came out on Nintendo. The Legend of Zelda came out on Nintendo. I remember when Mario 2 and Mario 3 came out and, and they pushed forward the envelope of what you could originally do with Mario Brothers and my personal favorite Nintendo games. I said games because it's three of them. Castlevania 1, 2, and 3. Now, Nintendo came and went, and at the ripe old age of 12, I was introduced to the SNES, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And with its amazing 16-bit graphics abilities, the world of incredibly real gaming was finally within my grasp. I couldn't believe the difference in the graphics in Super Mario World over the previous Mario games. And F-Zero was so fast, I couldn't even catch my breath. It was just an amazing experience. And it's one that I'll never forget. I was a little late to the Sega Genesis party, 
and I was becoming fully integrated into my SNES console at that time. But one day, by happenstance, I visited my uncle, my uncle Aaron, and lo and behold, he had a Genesis. The new hotness. It was just the new, new. It was Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, I'd heard about Sonic the Hedgehog, okay? And uh, this game was touted as the Mario Killer. And I wasn't giving this little blue bastard the benefit of the doubt. But my uncle, he booted up the game. He loaded it into the, the Sega Genesis. And uh, <laughs> I distinctly remember my lower jaw dropping to the floor as this game was running. It was too good to be true, but somehow this was true. The day that games that ran this well and this fast was here. And I was, from that moment, a Sonic fan. I saw the console war of a lifetime come and go. If you guys remember, the Nintendo, Super Nintendo and Genesis console war was epic. And uh, before I knew it, the Nintendo, Super Nintendo and Genesis, they were stepping out of the limelight and moving over for more powerful consoles. On came things like the Sega CD, the Sega 32X, two fails, the Sega Dreamcast, three fails, the PS1, the PlayStation, which changed the game, the Nintendo 64, and many others. And every few years, newer, faster, and more amazing consoles were released. Gaming has always been a part of who I am. Let's just get that straight. You guys know that. I'm the Beastly Gamer. Ever since I picked up my first Nintendo gamepad, I knew I was changed forever. And so I'm going to make a suggestion to you guys. My suggestion to you, if you are a younger gamer, is to invest in a retro console. It doesn't even matter which one. Personally, I'd say grab a Nintendo. If you can't afford it, get you an emulator on your PC. Play some of the great games of yesteryear so that you can understand exactly where gaming comes from and maybe you can understand its inevitable future. And if you're like me and you have a family with teenage children, give them some gaming homework. I know this sounds crazy, but every now and then, if they're doing good in school and they're, they're you know, conducting themselves properly in life, Pick out a game that you really loved as a kid and give them a chance to play it and have them give you feedback on what they think about it. It's a great activity and trust me, there's no better way for a kid to do homework, especially a teenager. And when they're done playing it, they'll be that much closer to understanding the past of gaming. What is retro gaming? If you don't know, I'm going to tell you right now. Retro gaming is a memory. Sometimes good and sometimes not so good. It is our beginnings as gamers and the start of our love of this medium of entertainment. Retro is that 1967 Chevy. Retro is that priceless antique. Retro is the pictures of our families when we were younger and happier. Retro gaming is a part of us. And today's PlayStation 4s and Xbox Ones are tomorrow's retro console. So instead of seeing retro in the terms of dated graphics, dated sound, dated hardware, dated software, we should see retro as a reflection of everything that we love about gaming. We should see it as our future and be happy that retro games and consoles have been instrumental in the kinds of gaming experiences we have the luxury of enjoying today. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.